Hello and welcome back. Um, my name is Drea and um, today I'm giving you a 30 day update on my land sourcing crowd fund. So just a little over 30 days ago, I launched a crowd fund with the goal of raising $75,000 uh, to purchase a plot of land. So some background information, just kind of bring you up to speed just in case you have not been following along. Um, I am a mindset and transition coach. I'm also a hydrotherapist and I'm studying herbs and um, I've been working with my clients pretty much virtually for the past several years and recently personally and professionally, I thought that it would be a great idea to create a space where myself as well as clients and just other like-minded people can go and disconnect, um, but also and reconnect, right? Disconnect from city life, disconnect from the hustle and the grind and reconnect with spirit, reconnect with ourselves, reconnect with nature. I want to provide some water wellness and some herbal healing. And I have the vision. It's, it's as clear as day for me. Um, but the cost was a little bit overwhelming when I started to do the run the numbers. So I decided to put together a crowdfund. Now, before launching this crowdfund, I did so much research. I did a lot of digging and I knew that $75,000 was a lot to ask um, of a crowdfund. People typically put together GoFundMes in um, times of emergency. So it's very rare that you see a GoFundMe where someone is trying to elevate or create something. It's usually to, to help rescue that person. And so the pers the people that are giving, the donations are coming from a different place in your heart when you're rescuing someone than when you selfless selflessly just decide to invest in someone else's dreams or desires for no reason other than you support that person, right? So I get that. Like psychologically and mentally and realistically, I'm asking a lot for someone to just um, hear me say that this is something that I want to do and then just invest. So I knew that going into it. So the number $75,000, uh, that's a huge number, but it was something that I needed to create as a starting point to just put it out there that this is the need. Um, in doing research, I looked at other campaigns that were created for the purpose of um, land acquisition and yeah, it was very dismal. <laughs> like I think the highest one that I saw out there raised like $1,200. Me, I was thinking like, I know a ton of people. I've invested in a bunch of people. I've poured into a bunch of people. So I should be able to get 7,500. Like that was what I thought when I launched a little over 30 days ago. Now at the 30 day mark, I'm at $510. Um, Technically, I'm at $510. Um, I did receive a $200 donation from someone who did not want to work through GoFundMe. They didn't want to give GoFundMe their, their little slice of the donation because, you know, GoFundMe takes a little small part of the donation. That's how they keep their, their um, platform running. And so that person just wanted to give me the $200 directly. I'll take it. <laughs> so I took it. So I have $710, although technically if you look at the, the site right now, you'll see $510. So 30 days in is typically where you see most of your momentum. That's where your donations come in. That's where the excitement is building. People are sharing. You know, we live in such a noisy society that, you know, things come and go. So after 30 days, we're on to the next thing. So I have probably received um, the most of the donations that I will receive. That's okay. I'm excited about that. That tells me that 12 or 13 people cared enough about my dream to invest in my dream. I want to keep the GoFundMe up. So if you've been on the fence about donating, there's still an opportunity for you to do that. But in addition to um, the crowdfund, I have really just dug into researching other opportunities to make this dream a reality. So I've been learning about different sorts of grants, different types of loan opportunities, 
um, looking at how I can move my money around to be a little more liquid and really just dedicating myself to this dream. One of the things that I've done, and I just like to share a process with people because who knows, you may be you know, thinking about something along the same lines. But one of the things that I did was I really combed through and cleaned up my social media so that I'm, the people that I'm following right now are either doing something like what I'm doing or they have done something like what I'm doing. They're like same vibration, same energy, just reminding me that this is real and it can happen for me. I always say that a lot of times we make people idols that should be made examples. Um, instead of saying like, wow, I wish I could do this. It's just like, wow, I can really do this. And so that's what I'm doing. I am surrounding myself with examples to help my manifestation. So um, I'm going to keep you posted along the way. You can check back here for updates. I just, I feel like it's important to record this process because one day um, someone's going to talk about how she started and how she did it. And we'll have some evidence of what the process looks like. We're still going 30 days in um, a lifetime to go in creating this garden oasis. I can't wait for you to come and visit me on the land.